We've just concluded our regional and national meetings here at Alan Vicks Guard. And the meetings were fantastic, well attended, enthusiastic, uh, good content, and very enlivening. But I have to say that for me, probably the highlight is that it gives me a good excuse for visiting Almvixgard. I think this is my maybe sixth time that I've been here to Almvix. And I have to say, every time I come, it provides me with a new gem. It's kind of like Iskon's hidden crown in the jewel. Something new, exciting, different and a little bit like uh, perennial flowers that they go to sleep. So I think Almvix went to sleep a little bit in maybe, I don't know, the 90s, that kind of era. But they're very much coming into bloom again and Almvix is very much coming into bloom again. We have the new guest house, which I've stayed. That's where I've been staying while I've been here. Really beautifully renovated and the natural beauty of Almvix is, is, is astounding. I mean, it, it definitely is one of our most astoundingly beautiful projects that we have. Uh, in ISKCON, in the Hare Krishna movement. Uh, but as well as the guest house, we see beautiful Goshala that's going on here. There's agricultural work going on, and it's a live, active community. And Alvik's coming back to life, from my perspective, coming back to life at this time, is really Krishna and Prabhupada's arrangement. Because most of us will know now that the whole mood in society particularly actually with the growth of the vegan movement, and I would like to offer the vegan movement my obeisances. And the reason I offer them my obeisances is not because I want to become a vegan. That would be a little bit complicated because Krishna, who we worship as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, his job was milking cows. And his pastime was eating milk sweets like ladu and sandesh and burfi and all these different sweets. So it would be a little complicated for us to become vegans, you know. <laughs> it would be a bit of an existential crisis. So why I offer my obeisances to the vegan movement is because they've given us the proverbial kick up the backside to try to bring to fruition what Prabhupada wanted us, or wanted brought to fruition. And that is that we have sustainable, productive farm communities where we can supply our own devotees obviously but even ideally a larger community uh, where we would have restaurants in the nearest cities and towns and we could provide them with produce like that and of course that produce is a himsa or non-violent it's non-violent milk production right now when we buy commercial milk the vegans are right we're involved, we are actually involved in that sense in, in, in an industry that is inflicting pain and suffering on, on the cows. And that's very, very unpalatable. Yes, we understand that obviously we take that milk and we offer it to Krishna and that, that brings benefit to the cows, etc. But that's not good enough. What we need to do is be producing milk that has no uh, negative or violent consequences for the cows concerned. So Almvix is an ideal location to do that. I think we have somewhere in the region of 30, 32 hectares, so really substantial amount of land. Uh, as I say, beautiful setting, large community. We have all the ingredients to actually start making that work. And once we do do that, it's not just that we're fulfilling Prabhupada's desire in terms of uh, having sustainable communities producing our own food. Uh, and it is important, it's food, not just milk. Prabhupada makes the point many times that m man cannot live on milk alone and man cannot live on vegetables alone. It has to be a combination of milk and vegetables and grains. So not just that we will be producing a project where it's, we're sustaining ourselves from the food point of view, but the opportunities to then give this knowledge and information and explain to the outside world why we're doing this and why, although we respect the vegans for what they're doing, this is even a higher principle of producing our own ahimsa, non-violent milk, where we love the cows and care for the cows, where, 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 where every day they're getting brushed and stroked and that, that they're actually the center of the community like that, so they're not being exploited in any way. And they're giving even more milk. We had one cow at Bhaktivedanta Manor that was giving milk for something like in excess of 20 years after it had just given uh, birth to one calf. Uh, why? 
our understanding is it was just receiving so much love and so much attention that it just kept the milk just kept on flowing like that and outside society will see this and they will be definitely uh, certainly interested intrigued and hopefully inspired by such an example of how things really work most people outside of the vegan community find the vegan diet a little austere a little challenging but the proper balanced vegetarian diet where there is dairy involved but it's dairy that has no negative consequences so alvix it's just a you just feel it you sense it when you come that it's just ready to explode and really show not just sweden not just scandinavia not just europe but in essence the whole world how this can work and there is no doubt in my mind if we do do it and do make it work it will be the most satisfying thing to shri prabhupada and lord krishna hari krishna